Jeremy Grant is signing a three-year, $60 million deal, not with the Denver Nuggets, but with the Detroit Pistons. Now, there have been a couple of deals thus far, as we're only a few hours into NBA free agency, that have left me scratching my head. A little bit of money more spent than I would have. But, hey, man, teams are making decisions that they think is best for their franchise going forward. I think some of these contracts by year two, you're going to look around and teams are going to be like, man, we overpaid for that guy. That was a bad deal. But Jeremy Grant is actually one of the guys where I think it's money well spent. If you look at where the game is at today, you see some of the things that Jeremy Grant's good at. He had a big series against the, the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. What was it, game three, game four, in which he really had a breakout performance. To me, he was the Nuggets' best player in the Western Conference Finals consistently. Yeah, I said it. Murray and Joker both had their games, but the, uh, Jeremy Grant was the guy that was consistently there for the Nuggets in that series. He's a four guy. He's a stretch. He's still developing that jumper on the outside, but you can see where it could be something in his game that he consistently will knock down going forward. He's got some strength to him. He's got some grit to him. I like this move for the Detroit Pistons. Here's where it gets interesting. A couple of tidbits. The Nuggets were willing to give Jeremy Grant that same three-year $60 million deal. He took the same amount of money to leave Denver and go to Detroit. What does that tell you? To me, that's a good sign. Either the, the, when you see that situation, either the guy felt disrespected by the offer he got from his current team or he's ready to move on and be a better player. I think in this situation, Jeremy Grant is ready to move on and be a better player. He's looking for more opportunity, and I think he sees that in Detroit for him. Anybody that's willing to go from Denver to Detroit, uh, where it's cold, <laughs> I, I think that tells you a lot about that, that guy. I think Denver's getting, or Detroit's getting a, a pretty darn good player who's ready to get better. It almost became a sign and trade, reportedly. If you look at the contracts for Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumley, their contracts would have lined up perfectly for a sign and trade with Blake Griffin, who's currently on that Detroit Pistons roster. Remember him? He's been plagued by injuries the last couple of years. But again, that is not the case. Blake, for right now, is staying put in Detroit. But I, I'm even kind of figuring out how that one's going to work. Blake and Jeremy Grant essentially play the same position. They lost, uh, they lost Christian Woods in free agency already to Houston. But again, there was, a, there was a moment in which we thought this was going to become a trade in which the Nuggets would re-sign Jeremy Grant, trade him and Mason Plumlee to Detroit, and they would acquire Blake Griffin in return. I don't believe that's the case. It was a rumor. It, as of right now, it's not happening. But Jeremy Grant right now is going to uh, Detroit. Blake Griffin is a name that if I were you, I would watch out for the next 72 hours. If he doesn't get traded to Denver, do not be surprised if Blake Griffin's on the move. Jeremy Grant and Blake Griffin essentially play the same position. Jeremy Grant's going to space the floor more than Blake will at this point in their careers. Um, and, and to me, he seems to have a little more upside than Blake Griffin, who's, who was a former All-Star in our league. I'm out.